Right, hello everyone. How are you guys all going today? I hope you're having an awesome ass day wherever you are in the world. It's winter here now and it's quite cold. Well, not as cold as some places here in New Zealand or anywhere else, but it's cold enough for us. Well, today I'm on a mission. We are on the hunt for some teal, T-I-O, teal, or commonly known in English as oysters. I'm going to a new spot today. I came across some a few months ago when I was fishing with a friend of mine, I fished with Ross Wallace. Ross, you might know where the spot is. I told you, go, look at that bro, look at all those. Well, I've got to come back here one day. Guess what? Coming back today to check him out. I think no one's ever come here and got them. With my hunter gathering eyes and nose, I spotted them. And I thought, man, I've got to check this place out again. So... I'm going to have a look today and hope you will get some. Unfortunately, I can't film where I'm going because the locals around here that that watch my channel and you guys uh, try to find my secret spots. This place here, if I take you here, you'll know where it is. So I want to save some for next time. If there's any there, of course, but I got a, a good feeling about it. My fingers are crossed, my toes are crossed in my red, my toes are crossed in my red bands. You guys can't see that. Anyway, this is going to be the first part of this video. I've got something planned, but later on, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow as well. But we'll try and get this one out of the way. And hopefully we get some oysters for you guys to see me eat. As you guys know, I like eating oysters. I only eat them raw or with a bit of lemon juice. I actually have a lemon here I got off the tree before I left. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I hope it makes you hungry. And for the locals around here, you'll never find this secret spot. Oh, some of you might know where it is, but anyway, we'll see you guys hopefully after I get some. We'll catch you later. We'll catch you soon. Bye. Right, so there's been a change of plan. The place I was going to go to, there's some people there that I don't want to see because they might find out what I'm getting there. So I've come back to my old spot we've always come to to get our oysters. So unfortunately, I couldn't go to that spot. I might try there later on next week or week after or something when the tides are right. But yeah, bummer. So I've gone back to my old spot and I'm going to pick some from there. Good thing about it too, there's no footprints around. There's nobody been here, but I can see a few oysters already. So uh, yeah, I'll grab some of those. Unfortunately as well, it's a bit hard trying to film when you're in mud. Your cameras get all muddy as well, so... Yeah, don't know what to do about that one. So they're not big ones, but I see. They're not big, but hey, they're alright. See? Oh, there it is. They're not big ones, but hey, they're tasty and they're free. Just need a few more, that's all. A few more to eat. So, it's not too bad. I'm just going to have a bit of a walk around these mangroves as I normally do. 
hopefully don't get too muddy put some clean clothes on the put some clean clothes on today hey rubber and you get some clean clothes on too and it's quite warm now once the sun comes out so I'm actually after the biggest ones I can find I don't know if you guys in other areas you've got some nice big oysters where you guys are oh it's a big one in there I can see some big ones oh shit look stuck in the mud with my 75 kilo weight Push my camera bag shut. Yeah. So there's some nice ones in here. Look at that one. See? Oh, that's not bad, is it? Haven't gone very far either, so that's good. A couple there. See? That's not too bad. Happy with that. Choice. I haven't gone very far, normally I'd go a bit around the corner to get these, but... Oh, another one too, look. Choice. Got a handful in about a minute. Not even that. Shit, stuck. Yeah, there we have it. Not bad little teal. Those ones, look at that one. That's a good one. Yum. Right. Put it back. Very nice. There's quite a few around this mangrove here. Oh, oh these are those footprints there. See? Somebody's been here and he's gone. Oh, there he is. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh, I've cut my hand already. That's from the shells. Haven't even opened one up yet. Let's have a look in here. Uh, anyway guys, I might put the camera down and uh, and try and fill this bucket up a bit. It's a bit hard trying to grab these tasty morsels with a camera in my hand. So I'm going to put this camera down and I'm going to, might put it on down again. And just give you guys some more footage to look at. Look at that. Rubber, look. Yeah. I mean, there's heaps here. Hope to be heaps here forever. Shit. I don't plan on getting muddy today. Where did I see it? Oh, there it is. Look, see? Oh, that one. I'll break it off. Yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, god boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, that one's really. I think I cut it open a bit. Oh, look, cut myself again. There we are. And some more big ones in here too. Here we go. Look at that, what a mess. Anyway guys, so there's my bucket. Good enough for a feed, that's all I want. I don't want too many. But look, see, that's a good size one there. That's a nice one for here. Pretty happy with that. But look, it's more than enough for a feeder, the size of the bucket. You know, you can always come back tomorrow, you can always come back next week, next, you know, but that's all I need.
So we do first, just going to cut a bit of the old lemon in half, straight from the tree. Take some of these pips out there. So I like my oysters just raw. I don't like them cooked or anything. Raw. A bit of lemon juice or a bit of our natural without lemon juice. I'm just going to put a few oysters in the bowl here. Can have those with lemon. A bit of the old taste test. Just in case if they're off, I'll just have half the bowl. Because apparently, you can only get food poisoning when you only have one, not when you have half a bowl. That's what I was told anyway. So, put lemon juice on there. Oh, yeah. Maybe a bit more, half a lemon. Nice and healthy. Right. A couple of those. They're not very big ones, but hey, they are very, very tasty indeed. So, I'll just grab three or four at once. Lemon juice. Yep. Whoa. Mmm. Very, no one kicks there, very delicious. I'll show you guys one more time. I'll grab a few issues, I might grab the whole bowl and stick it in my mouth. But it's been a savage. I'll have to do this non savagey. It's apparently on Father's Day and I don't like seeing savages eat like a savage. So here we go. Get your close up on it, get the old focus going. Let's check that out, focus it up. Can I see that? There's about four oysters on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a bit closer, you reckon? Come on, focus. Oh, there you go, that's it. Right, get ready for this. I'm going to enjoy this mouthful as well. Follow it up to my mouth. There's my mouth. Check this out. Focus. Yep, check this out. Mmm. Mmm. Bam. I haven't had oysters for ages. Probably August last year. Last time I had them. Oh man. A bit of shell there. There you go. Mmm. Mmm, ma'am. You know what? I might do the whole bowl like that. Juice. <coughs> oh yeah. Delicious. Right. I'm going to do here. Get that lemon juice. Squeeze it all over. Lemon from the tree and oysters from the old harbour. Doesn't get much better than that. Right, excuse my fingers. Mm, there you go. Mm. Oh yeah, I don't feel sick yet. Better carry on, eat the rest of them. There's good and bad news. The bad news was after I got these oysters, I planned on going the next day, which is today, to go to get some watercress from my spot. I knew there was going to be some bad weather coming. And I thought this morning when I woke up, it's going to be shit weather. And it was. It's pretty been shitty all day. So I'd actually yeah, really planned to go and get some watercress and do the oysters with watercress. So that's the bad news. The good news is... I've uh, been eating a bit of meat lately and felt hungry for a smoked fish pie and happened to be that I've got a smoked fish in the freezer so I've got the out frosting we're going to have smoked fish pie tonight oh yeah, it's fixing on my head yeah here it is, dripping oil and salt water see? mmm Whoa. You can't beat that. Anyway, watch this. 
Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. See you guys soon when the smoke fish fry goes in or out of the oven. Catch you guys later. Please shells. Just swallow them. So that Best fish pie I've had since the last one. Mmm.